Just to comment on a, a couple of things that um, have been going on today, I suppose one of the things that, that seems clear to me just listening to everybody talking and, and to the table discussions is that there's now a sense of urgency to move on this issue into a much more structured approach. But usefully there is also a real commitment from I think almost everybody we've heard from today that that sense of collaboration is understood to be a, a core piece of how we move forward. That no single organisation or agency has, um, has the answer or can sort things out on their own. But I do think it's fair to say as well that there's an expectation of leadership from government and it came up in terms of people referring to the fact that today is a reflection of some, some government leadership and also a sense that government departments are working together. And I mean, in that sense, I think that's really important because in Ireland we haven't been terribly good at getting that right and yet here's a great opportunity um, to, to do something which requires cross-government uh, involvement. There's a real sense that education, education, education is a critical piece of the dynamic here and I think listening to everybody talking there's an enormous amount of things happening on these issues whether in individual organisations or in collaborative pieces of work or through the European Union but people tend not to know about it, just as the individual parent tends to feel, I really don't know where to go about this. I don't know how to get guidance on, you know, at what point do I do things? How do I make the assessment of my child? And so on and so forth. And I think really importantly, Minister, we have heard from young people here who have an awful lot to contribute to this. Because I guess as, a, as older people, we have a tendency to focus on the, oh my God, bit, the risk, the, the sense of overwhelming you know, disaster pending, when in fact for most people, and for young people in particular, this is the future, this is now, this is what an awful lot of our other government policies are dependent on, um, and so we can't, we can't get away from that. Um, so we, we need to trust young people, we need to listen to them, we need to include them in all of these kinds of, of fora. Um, where the kind of policies that will work can, can perhaps emerge. So I think it's great food for thought from everybody. Um, I, I'm going to hand over to the Minister. Before I do, can I thank the panel, the second panel this afternoon, for their inputs? Can I thank all of you from all of the different walks of life that you've come and all of the experience and wisdom you've brought? And certainly I hope that the wish that you've expressed here, that this is the start of an ongoing conversation, is something that happens. So Minister, if I can pass over to you to conclude proceedings. Thanks very much, uh, Caroline. And let me begin by uh, thanking uh, some of the people that have contributed to today's event. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you uh, for attending and participating in today's discussion. I think it has been a very, very useful discussion uh, in kick-starting this whole process. Uh, I'd like to thank Caroline McCamley for her excellent way in which she has facilitated this debate here today. I'd also like to pay a special word of thanks to Gail Kent uh, for travelling uh, here today to give the European Commission's perspective uh, on the wide-ranging subject uh, of online safety. And I think it is uh, an area where we can work uh, far closer together to, to move this agenda forward. I'd like to thank my Cabinet colleagues for their support in organising uh, today's event. Uh, as the Taoiseach referred to uh, earlier, at the recent hearing of the Joint Directors Committee on Children and Youth Affairs, four cabinet ministers uh, attended that and presented. That is unprecedented uh, in this country and it shows the priority that we are all giving to the issue of online safety and the concerns that are being expressed to each and every one of us uh, by the public in relation to this issue. Today's event has been coordinated by six government departments a further sign of the government's commitment uh, of having and demonstrating a joined-up approach to, to online safety. I particularly want to thank um, Trina Quill, uh, Dulce O'Brien uh, and Brendan O'Reilly within my own department and the team that backed them up uh, in relation to it, and right across uh, government, the other uh, staff uh, and officials that helped out. I'd like to thank the panellists, our table facilitators, uh, and those of you who made today's event possible. But picking up on something that Caroline said earlier, I particularly want to welcome the WebWise ambassadors, and I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> uh, 
because far too often we uh, talk down to young people rather than actually talking with them. And I think one of the trends that, that I've seen from uh, the contributions that I heard here, uh, and I wasn't here for the, the full debate, uh, was the need to engage with young people as parents, uh, but also as legislators and those responsible for putting uh, standards in place. And I think it is important to have their input into today and their input into whatever comes forward from uh, this event today. As someone that's been in involved in politics for a few years now at this stage, I think one of the most frustrating things that I've seen in politics is the silo perspective in government uh, in relation to issues and challenges. And it's not just an Irish problem. Talking to my other 27 colleagues at the Council of Ministers on Monday, it's an issue right across Europe and I'm sure right across the world. And it, it was an issue that was also there in the private sector up to quite recently. Uh, but that has been broken down in the private sector and has allowed for a huge level uh, of innovation. I think Project Ireland 2040 is the first real practical step by government to actually address that silo mentality across government. As politicians, uh, we're often accused of kicking complex problems down the road. What I've tried to do uh, as Minister with complex problems is to bring the sector together, the public sector, the private sector, everyone that's involved uh, in the area, and see if we can try and problem solve in relation to an issue. Today's forum is the third such forum that our department have led in the last six months in relation to uh, issues. By far the most complex is the one that we're dealing here today, but it's the same format uh, that we have been using. I think it's clear uh, from uh, the debate that has gone on here today that online safety is not a neat subject that can be clearly labelled or defined. We all know what we want to achieve, and our priority is to keep children safe online. But there is no one road that we can take to get there. And we must all work together across stakeholder groups to achieve our common goal. I think Killian uh, put it well uh, earlier on when he said it's about collaboration, about coordination uh, across the different sectors. Uh, and Caroline said that in, in her uh, summing up. It's that sense of coordination and collaboration that's needed across the sector. And I think up to now, Many, many people sat back and said, look, this is not our problem, it's someone else's problem. I think the impetus is there from today and the momentum is there now for all of us to work together and to move forward in relation to this. We also have to bear in mind that the issues and technologies are rapidly evolving. So it's not as simple as changing the law and walking away. We must constantly be vigilant and work together on an ongoing basis to make the internet a safer place for our children. Some people are frustrated and claim that nothing will happen, that this is just a talking shop here today. And let me remind uh, some of you here today that during the noughties, over 500 children disappeared from state care. 90% of them were never found. No one asked questions because they were no one's son, they were no one's daughter. It was a scandal that went on when we had the big economic boom in this country, and yet it got very little notice, very little coverage. As some of the NGOs here today know, I personally took up this particular issue. I pressurised the government at the time until we got a proper and secure care system put in place for unaccompanied migrant children, and thankfully, Children are not going missing from state care today in the way that they did in the past. So I have a personal uh, agenda here. I'm committed to this issue and I've proven that in the past. And I'm determined to work with my colleagues across government to move this agenda forward. Listening to today's events uh, and hearing the contributions from the panellists and participants, I was struck at by the, the diverse range of issues uh, in relation to online safety and how complicated these subjects are. I believe that today's event was absolutely necessary so we could all gain a better understanding of each other's position and identify practical steps that we can all take together. Speaking as a parent, I think we need to give us as parents the tools to make informed decisions. Antone said that we need to 
you know, encourage, uh, insofar as is possible, parents to become mar far more active in this area. And yes, we do need to provide parents with information. We need to provide parents with the guidelines uh, in relation to that. I think David Stanton, earlier on in his contribution, made the point that we are, and we are as a government, uh, looking for uh, ideas and to develop those ideas into practical, uh, implementable steps. Killian also made the point that we need to teach young people and give them the tools uh, to protect themselves, and I think that is uh, important as well. And I think that's one thing that came across from many of the contributions today was the importance of education, the importance of awa awareness raising, and the resources to do that. I think resources in relation to law enforcement is another issue that clearly came across uh, today, uh, and I think it is something uh, that we need to be very conscious of. So we need to, to map out now uh, and scope out an action plan uh, and provide more detail than has been required to date, including having a very much joined up approach uh, in relation to this issue. Uh, Killian, I think, uh, spoke about um, rocks uh, and books uh, earlier, uh, and I was just thinking about what he was saying. I think the, the issue here is uh, in relation to the tools. And, you know, when the pen was invented, we didn't ban pens. And the pen is mightier than the sword. But it's what it's written with that. The output from that is the issue. And I think that's the one thing we all need to be very conscious of here and work towards ensuring uh, that we protect ourselves, our families, our communities, and most importantly, our children. As the Taoiseach mentioned earlier, by the summer, the government will set out an action plan with an integrated step, set of measures to ensure that we can support online safety at all levels. A report of today's event will help to inform the development of that action plan. So I'd like to sincerely thank each and every one of you for participating today and hope that we can all continue to work to address our shared concerns in the future. And the one thing I'd say, and I've said this um, across government as well, we have to remember what all this is about. This is about protecting the vulnerable. And most importantly, it's about protecting our children. So let's all work together towards the common goal of protecting our young people and our children uh, on uh, online platforms. Goramila Mahagoth.